Okay, so um, obviously we have the avalanche hazard forecast, and if we are going into the mountains as a, as a professional or someone that is responsible for others, then this is clearly not enough information. If this is the first time we've looked at avalanche hazard or considered avalanche hazard with our plans, we're really too late. We've missed out on so much information. Snowpack history is very, very important. Probably the most important thing. Um, most in our planning, um, pretty much 90% of our hazard evaluation is done before we go out into the mountains. And viewing the previous seven reports is one way of, of beginning to get that snowpack history. And so on the, on the website here, if you view previ the previous seven reports, you can go back in time, you can go back it to seven days, and you can see what the situation has been leading up to today. But that may not be sufficient information. Um, it's, it's really quite important sometimes to know what's happened or what, what the snowpack history is from the start of the winter or indeed the months and weeks before you're going out on your excursion. Because things may have been created um, within the snowpack as far back as the start of the winter. So it's very, very important to, 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 to look at, at the history. We also have uh, on the website uh, a weekly snowpack summary. And what that does, it, um, we have a paragraph for every week going back to the start of the winter and that describes the main snow, um, um, snow stability situation from week to week. So if, for instance, in one week we've identified that there is a persistent layer at depth, then we'll also mention that the next week and the next week. So if you're looking at snowpack history, you can see, aha, something's been developing over the weeks until this week and it hasn't actually disappeared. And that then would make you alert and that then would make you um, probably a bit keener in terms of making your observations when you're out into the mountains.